Hello everyone, welcome to Techie QA channel. In this video, we are going to create a first script of mobile automation, iOS app automation script. So let me open the Eclipse. So before or like starting this, make sure that you have seen my previous video of the same playlist. Java installation, APM, Eclipse, Xcode, Simulator, then the sample app build, then web driver agent. If you are done with that, you can start this video so that you will understand as well as uh, like even your script will work properly. Otherwise, you will face so many issues related to build as well as script. So just go to file, new, other, I want to create a Maven project. If you don't have Maven, you can just go back like uh, go to Eclipse Marketplace and install the Maven integration or I'll check in my channel you will get a video for that as well. Just click on simple project. Next, group ID I can give the QA artifact ID IOS app automation. That's it. So we have created it. Like before opening any folder, just go to palm.xml. We need to add the dependent dependencies for a selenium as well as APM. So after version, I have already copied whatever required. I can explain. This is for selenium dependency. Here is for APM dependency for test ng. And as of now, this is not required. Just leave it. This is for build one. Okay, one build. Okay, how you will get this dependency? If you guys ask, just go to just simply search selenium one dependency. The first URL which will not first, I think. Yeah, this one. So you can search whatever dependency you want from here, test ng, maven, everything. You want test ng also if you want, just test ng. You will get it here. Just click on it. You have to choose the version. Just copy this. So that's it. You already copied, you can paste it there. So I have done with the project setup. So it shows some error. Sometime it will show. Just right click on the project, go to maven do update project the force update and release okay so just go to source test and java okay it's updating just see here it's building the project once all the dependencies is done it will be fine actually okay inside test i will create one uh, package dot com dot dot sample I will create one class inside the package. So the last we do enter the gap the first my first iOS automation. Not mine, maybe yours. Right. Oh something spell is there, that's okay. So here just go with main method. If you want to integrate testing, we can do it later. Just go with main method and uh, just create a decide capabilities. New decide capabilities. Okay. Cap dot. So we need to set a capability for platform version and device name as well as your app. So mobile capability type dot uh, you can set platform name that is iOS. I will just copy paste this device name. So here you have to give device name. So which device I have open here? iPhone 8 plus I 
iPhone 8 Plus. So, however, it shows like that you have to type iPhone 8 Plus with space iOS 11.1. So, version is 11.1. And we have to mention where is our app located. Just app. So what we have to give here? The location of our app. Let me go to Xcode. So we have a sample app. Like already we have built. If you are not, just click on play button. In like under the project, you can see UI catalog app. Just right click on it. Show in finder. Okay. So this uh, location you have to give instead of taking from here just copy and paste it wherever you want and use it so my case I have created one folder and pasted here in separate folder so for that path I have it here so like that you can paste it anywhere as well as the app name so it's a simulated based app so that's why it's dot app ios driver mobile element m driver is equal to okay so here you have to pass new url as well as capabilities So what is the URL actually? HTTP Just open your uh, APM now So in APM you can fetch the server URL So it will be like uh, IP address will be by default 0.0.0.0, .0, colon 4723 slash wp slash so mostly this will be our uh, URL for our IPM server. Just add at the declaration. Okay, see, double zero four seven two three. It's asking for update. It's asking that. Uh, okay, so we have almost done. So what I'm trying to do, I will just put a driver dot find element sorry m driver dot find element by id i will give some name something like which is not valid just to check is that our app app is like able to launch or not if you're able to launch successfully i think we are almost done so for that purpose, let me start the APM. So it started. Then go here. Just run your script of Java application. So basically, whenever you run, you just go to APM and check your uh, log with APM only. So you will get more in detail. And let's check your emulator as well, what it happens. So this APM iOS driver does not support Xcode version of 9.1 okay I have some issue with uh, this iOS driver one so for that purpose what I will do I will create a APM driver let's see Okay, so sometimes we have to give our uh, automation name as well. I think uh, just read what is the error, could not find platform 11.1. Please check the desired capabilities. So it's 11.1 only. So let me just explore my previous test project.
So if you have doubt, let me copy this. Let's see this, what will happen. I'm running now. Okay, so it's setting simulator. Yeah, now it's able to launch. It's installing the UI catalog. It should launch. So that's what we need actually. So I basically why it's taking long time it is waiting for webdriver agent project to build so once it's able to build we can see this app will launch yeah see webdriver agent project is built successfully then only you can talk to your uh, application okay just wait webdriver agent successfully started so after that your app will run so searching id it will fail because we don't have a, we don't have the id called text field or something like that okay so this is how we can just launch ios app maybe in next video i can write more function to click and send keys i can use so that's it guys thanks for watching if you face any issue let me know and uh, if you check here what e what issue we have done so this capability we have to give like very carefully platform name and platform version device name so everything if you give any space or something like that it will throw error the version is not available or something like that okay okay guys thanks for watching